Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and there's a very ominous anchor over there. We need to go over and introduce ourselves as the new director. And also as someone who doesn't want to see the anchor running wildly out of control. I am curious about this, I have to admit it. Given that, uh... Am I supposed to straight line it over there? I mean, I could try. Oh. oh man, I am really glad I got that second upgrade after all. Oh. Shit. Oh, that's not good. I've lost sight of it. I thought the anchor was harmless. I thought it just... I thought you move the anchor, you move that weird orb of light. I didn't think the anchor had any intelligence of its own, unlike some of the artifacts. Oh! What the fuck is that? Oh! Oh, no. My bad for having a uh, pierce equipped, I suppose. It distracted me. My organs. How embarrassing. I didn't even notice if I did any damage to it. I also thought I actually, I, I thought I did a devastating amount of damage to it, all the stuff that came flying out of it, and then I realized I just happened to shoot it right before it ejected a bunch of clocks. Wah! Okay, that is easily the coolest animation for getting the gun ready, the way the things just fly into place. Not to mention the noise it makes, that's cool. But it's not what I need right now. Uh, let's go with grip, because I don't think shatter is going to be of any use clo uh, that far away from this thing. So you've got to be the original, huh? What the fuck is that? I know it didn't like that. I mean, it'll turn over here. It seems to be turning at 90 degree angles. Ooh! Wow! It got me good. I don't like that sound. Something hit me. I mean, seriously? I think having to do all that damage is kind of a mistake. Having to do all that damage and spawning more hiss is definitely a mistake. I'm starting to hear some of the floaty dudes. Okay, let's check it. Let us chill. It's gonna turn this way after that. It's making more talks. Oh, 
Well, it's a small clock, but we'll see if it works. Oh no! Holy! Thanks, big clock! I saw that! Oh, I'm in the wrong space for this, I've just realized. Okay, now I'm in the right space for this. Ah! All right, all right. Oh, you're one of the suicide guys. You're one of the, uh, the floaty psychic guys. Conveniently. Oh no, my mask is off. Uh, okay. Actually, you know what? The concrete is probably better. But whatever. Turn this way. It'll be great. Ah. Uh, Over here, over here. Uh. Oh, we turned the other way. I think it's turning at random now. No, maybe I just miscalculated entirely where it was supposed to be facing, you know? I think it hit one of those dudes. <gasps> Fuck! Yeah, this fight sucks. I do not know why some of them are bigger and red, but whatever. Show me that pretty smile! Let's go that way. Give myself a little time to deal with, uh... Interlopers. Alright, where are your boys? Thought I could get through that gap. No big deal. Oh no, there are guns over here. Weird. So it's been this thing making clocks the whole time? That isn't at all what it was described as doing in the, uh, document. Hey, it didn't like that, I think. Oh, right. Well, let's see, in that case... Oh! Oh no, I don't know where it's going to go. Next it's over there, and then it's back over here. So it's gonna kill those guys, and I don't have to worry about them. Fine. Thank you. 
No, thank you. It's going to go. I lost the pattern. Next is here. No. No more damn clocks. Take your damn clocks back! Hell yeah! No? No! Dots, 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 dots! Make life take the lemons back! I wonder if there's still a big red clock over there. No! Dots, 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 clock! Oh, shit! This is the fifth attempt since the jump cut. Sort of. I'll explain afterwards if I win. I hate you! Something very important about that first attack right there. Up yours. Now I wait right here for a minute because some dudes are about to spawn. No. I do not need them in front of the boss. Nice. I don't know which way it's pointing.
Ah! That's why I came over here, wasn't it? Shit! Over there. Oh, that's what it's doing. It starts charging before it opens up now. Fuck off, man. a lesson from the fucking uh, furnace. It likes to be fed. I'm not going to try throwing one of the, uh, the, the explodey guys in there because, uh, well, we'll get to that, I guess. Oh, okay. This low, I wasn't sure if it was just gonna fuck with me. Oh! I did not mean to do that, but it worked! Okay, it worked this time. Ha! <laughs> All right, you round son of a bitch. Smile for me. No, oh, no. I thought that would be enough. Oh, fuck! No, you don't. You are not a problem. Shove this clock, clean up your ass, and you are not going to be my problem anymore! That must be the ultimate. Achievement unlocked. Living archetypes. I'm waving at that guy's shirt because it's waving at me. Aww. Requiescat in Pachem. Uh, that's the wrong button. That's the right button. Uh, living archetypes. Defeat the anchor. Okay. So you're the one who caused all this trouble. Well, Mr. Anchor, your ass is mine. There. No one of the Rangers had such a hard time with that one. Jesus, no kidding. Unlock any lore? I did. Anchor procedures. You have the anchor procedures and the anchor supplement, just not the anchor file. Oh, uh. Anch Ocelot's anchor, acquisition date September 28th, 1976. Containment location Panopticon, floor 3, unit 7. Containment procedure Black Rock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. Uh, 
I just really realized that that was the, the, the yeah, the ball. Okay. What, uh, let's see. A strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the blank. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. That is not how I would describe it, but sure. Uh, agents found the sphere. As agents lifted the anchor off the floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Huh. Okay. Uh, description to altered effect. A Trotman-style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is uh, rusted in places. Weighs 3,789 pounds. Well, it is an anchor. The item generates a persistent blank sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. The sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically redacted horizontal feet and redacted vertical feet from the redacted of the anchor. Appendix. Uh, April 25th... Oh, we were close. Uh, 1983. Redacted, a ranger first class, was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at Redacted A-M-E-S-T. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, Redacted's oxygen line was cut at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during Redacted's entry into the sphere experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. Ranger Redacted has been declared MIA, presumed dead. Dear God. Okay, sorry about that. Right, I guess we'll have to end the episode here. But, uh... That was not... Oh, I guess I did come back to the front, didn't I? Okay, so I actually did three first attempts there. Uh, the first one... I flew over to that platform and discovered that I couldn't lock onto the... You know, because it opens there first. And I discovered that I couldn't lock onto the core when it opened, so I took a face full of clocks and lost 75% health immediately for no reason. I assumed that was a glitch that I couldn't lock on, so I... Uh... You know, lo manually loaded the game instead of waiting to die. Uh, going back out, I tried the same thing, and discovered precisely the same thing again, and in fact, I manually threw the clock, such that it hit the core, and nothing happened. I still took the clock to the face. So I decided that none of those counted as a proper first, so, uh... Yeah. That's why it fires so much faster the very first time it does that. So that, uh, it demonstrates the thing. But it never occurred to them that someone would try to speed things along by firing into the very first time it opens, I guess. Bizarre. Oh, and one of those attempts, I think it was attempt number two, ended with the game fucking freezing. Actually, I think that might have been the, the third attempt number three, now that I think about it. Yeah, fucking curse number one. Are those items or just dots over there? It's itching at me. I want to find out. Um, yeah, I picked up a dead, uh, security guard and was gonna throw him into the, uh, into the core. And then everything locked up in a particularly horrible way where the sound continued as if it was still going, but it wasn't still going. Which meant, you know, the game thinks, right now I'm supposed to be making the sounds of the floating guys screaming and the thing charging up. So the charging sound just kept playing and getting higher and higher pitched, and the screaming just endlessly looping. It was kind of like this. Ah! Uh, ah! Stop! Yeah, that sucked. I am really glad that's done and over with. So I avenged Horowitz against himself, and avenged the rest of the squad against the Anchor. Yeah, it feels good. I just gotta get over there and fucking make sure I save. In order to call it. For future reference, Jesse, they don't literally mean one hand tied behind your back. How do I get up there? That's interesting. I do not have nearly the verticality to reach any of these. Maybe from that. But that can wait for next time. Hell yeah.
I'm not even going to look at the abilities. I'll just call it. I'm burning dog face. Oh, there's another one. Huh. <clears throat> and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control. When we uh, figure out our next move. Later.